Okay, Koki, it's the 12th of November, it's Friday. Woohoo! Everybody's working for the weekend. Friday, the 12th of November, 2021. Just a stone's throw. Two, Thanksgiving Day and a little bit longer for Christmas. And I do know that some people have already set up their Christmas tree. The title, well, China's massive free gorgeous damn good collapse. And here's why. But first of all, let's go through the stuff that we have to get through first. And of course, that is the levels and the weather. Now, what should be concerning here is for the last three days in Kutan, Chongqing, the levels have gone up now 174.98 and just centimeters, millimeters down is the Free Gorges Reservoir at 174.4.8.40. Inflow is 11,600 and the outflow is 14,000 for you there. Now, while we're here, let's have a look at the weather. And this is not the highlight of the actual show because nothing is actually really happening here to be particularly honest with you. Some weather here and there scattered around the South China Ski Sea and some weather around the south of China and near enough where I live here, a little bit of rain here and there, but nothing much. So here's the question. Why have the levels gone up in Chongqing, which is 600 kilometers away? Does that mean the levels in a couple of days on the Free Gorges will go up? We will have to wait and see. Now, here is a little bit of advertising, but it's advertising for a good cause. The James Neal Cooper Cup, the mug, and... I do have a message from the actual supplier of this. No mugs have been purchased as of 11.11. Now, you can find Donald's email, who is the guy in Miami, in America, doing this for us. He's bought the mugs already, and it is very happy to ship them. So you can email him in the description. The payment will be done by PayPal in the United States and you can contact and talk to him through email or you can just go through the comments and you can have a little chat there with him and maybe you could find a different way to have a chat maybe via, via Facebook Messenger or Zoom. Not too sure but please do buy. It's only $15. it would be a great Christmas present to someone who does like the channel. For example your wife. You watch it together with her or your husband etc. You can buy it secretly and then we can help one orphanage here a little bit. Uh, in this country here, Cambodia. I will thank you in advance if you are in the process of buying. It's really going to not help me in the slightest form, but it is going to help the children. And as George Benson and Whitney Houston said, the children are our future. Right, this article is the headline of the show, and it's from Interesting Engineering. And the title says, China's massive Free Gorges Dam could collapse. Here's why. Let's have a read. Yes, it's time for my awful reading, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you're ready. China is currently dealing with a calundrium. It has decided to become carbon neutral by 2060 weaning its huge economy off coal and fossil fuels, at the same time trying to shut down as, for, as many as 40,000 hydropower plants. And the reason for these paradoxes is rooted in China's troublous history with river control. Many of the country's 94,000 aging dams have been put to the test recently by heavy rain flooding, and they pose serious safety risks particularly during summer floods. For example, two collapsed earlier this year in Inner Mongolia, 
due to the rain during the summer floods in Hernan, which killed more than 300 people, the army warned that the Lilohan Dam could collapse at any time, per Bloomberg. The video is in YouTube channel called Tech Plans, which you can learn. Why do people think, or some people think, the Free Gorges Dam, the world's largest power station in terms of installed capacity in 2012, could collapse? Although it's recent build, curious to know more, make sure you watch the video embedded. Oh, <laughs> I haven't got that bit because I'm sure it will be something that I can't see. But do go along to Tech Plan on YouTube and have a look at that. Related to the Free Gorges Dam, that's all I got for today. A little bit of news for you in China. Hong Kong man sentenced over five years in jail for inciting succession. Man Chun Man, a 31-year-old man dubbed Captain America 2.0, who repeatedly advocated Hong Kong independence in anti-government movements two years ago, was sentenced to five years and nine months in prison on Thursday, which was held by local legal experts as a rightful sentence comparable to basic law. From August to November 2020, Ma, who usually dressed in the Marvel Comics character in streets protests in Hong Kong, shouted slogans in public and places many times, Hong Kong independence, Hong Kong people to establish a nation, which incited others to commit secession, according to the local ruling in October. Oh, now this news is from the Global Times. Way back in 1984, Margaret Thatcher and the leader of China at the time came to a conclusion about Hong Kong. When it became part of China again in 1997, there would be one country, two systems. One country, two systems. So democracy in Hong Kong. It's only Winnie the horrible poo, she, yeah, who couldn't wait for this 50 years and has incited someone where there was meant to be freedom to say, I don't like, yeah, or independence, like in the United States, you can wave a banner by all means saying, I love Joe Biden. Okay, let's not go there, but you can do it. You have the freedom. Now in Hong Kong, you can't do that. It's the Chinese government which has taken over the society. And they would say all the time, oh, the, the people love it. Well, 8 million people in Hong Kong, the protest two years ago, 1 million. Yeah, there was a little bit of violence, which, yes, the mainstream media did blow up out of proportion like they always do, but it was very small. Even I was there, not protesting. I was just there, walking through the protest, the peaceful protest with no problem at all. So I'm sort of going off topic. That because Hong Kong's a little bit a part of me, I get upset with this. That 50 years ago, it's meant to have this autonomy, so nothing changes. But things have in the last, say, 11 years, 10 years of. Hong Kong's history. And this poor guy who wants to have the freedom of speech, which Hong Kong meant to have, which it doesn't have now, put him in jail just for saying Hong Kong independency. Huh. Also in the headlines in China, we're just going to zip through this. Mainland reacts strongly to US lawmakers' Taiwan visit. Now, moves may speed up reunification process. It may harm them. Reunification, China is not going to happen with Taiwan. Taiwan is an independent country. Go, just go. You, people, government in China, go to Taiwan. Speak to the people and ask the question directly. The other ones here, PLA, the People's Liberation Army Force, Air Force, celebrates 72nd anniversary as Taiwan Island patrol becomes more frequent. So they're basically invading the country of Taiwan airspace. 
Uh, what else is there? Something about the president, uh, so that they still get it wrong, don't they? The keynote speech by Xi Jinping on the uh, something, the APEC summit, which has been happening in Beijing, but he didn't go to Glasgow for the COP summit. Why? The Xi Jinping hasn't been out of the country for 21 months. It's a long time. You sort of wonder why. Uh, what else do we have? Consul General in Chicago urges US to protect Chinese citizens, slamming violence that killed a Chinese student. And she calls for concerted a APEC efforts to combat virus, accelerated green growth, but avert forming small circles. That's the sort of headlines which is happening in, or the most viewed headlines in the Global Times. The Global Times is a Chinese state media run newspaper and it will always do the positive and never the negative about China. And that is about it for me for today. As always, thank you so much for your time. Back on Saturday, which will be the 13th of November, a comment would be absolutely ideal. Don't forget to buy the mug. Come on, guys. 15 bucks is not a lot of cash. Yeah? And then once all of them are sold, hopefully by, you could say, Christmas time, then in January, we can start helping this orphanage in this country. And that's it, really. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Have a great day wherever you are. Bye-bye, bye-bye, and bye-bye.